examples. Here's an example of an oval shaped head. This is Tom Ford who actually makes great sunglasses. Tom is wearing a pair on the left that is a little softer. It doesn't have a real structured hard angle. That's kind of a problem in my opinion because he definitely has an oval shaped head. The sunglasses on the right, however, have a more structured and angular appearance, especially in the top portion of the glasses. This, in my opinion, looks a whole lot better. All right, now these square glasses look amazing on this triangle shaped face. The reason, because the square really contrast his angular chin along with the crows. Here is a triangle shaped face with rounded glasses and it looks great because of the balance and contrast that the two different shapes create. And here's an example of a round face wearing glasses that need to be more angular. I feel that the circular or soft edges of these glasses really are not doing his face shape any justice. Notice the oval shaped face and the square shaped glasses. Perfect. One thing to note, regardless of your face shape or sunglass shape, you need to wear glasses that are the right size. Glasses come in different sizes. And have you ever tried on a pair, looked in the mirror and been like, these look a little small for my face. Or maybe you look in the mirror and you're like, yo, I look like Paris Hilton. Huge glasses, little head. All right, so you need glasses that are the right size for your face or else all havoc breaks loose in this aestheticness business. Well, you're not going to hear this in GQ, but what I have found is that if you buy sunglasses that are actually the width of your cheekbones, you're in good shape. Notice that his glasses frames are the width of his cheekbones. This works pretty much on everybody. If they're wider than your cheekbones, the glasses are going to look too big. If they're smaller than your cheekbones, the glasses are going to look too small. But remember, everything I went over and talked about is a recommendation. It is